Hi guys, this is my long overdue video. I'm going to be talking about my study abroad experience at, in Seoul, specifically at Chungang University, where recently SNSD's Yuri and Suyoung and actress Park Shin Hye graduated from, and also Kim Soo Hyun, but you know. During my one month stay there, I actually kind of vlogged. If you haven't seen those, you can check it out in the link below. Yeah, it's kind of blurry. It's not the best kind of quality. I took it on my phone, but yeah, if you want to check it out, it's there. So let's get started. One, I researched the program first, or which program was suitable for me, and I chose the one that was like um, in the summers. It wouldn't interfere with like my graduation. And after that, I went to talk to a, a study abroad advisor, and we kind of went over like applications and like paperwork and stuff that you have to do. A tip would be to make sure your passport is up to date and to check if you need a visa because some countries require a visa. Once I got accepted to the host university, I made sure to save up some money. Save as much as you can because you're going to need it for like food, the shopping, and like souvenirs you plan on bringing back. And there's just like a lot of things that you're going to do, especially if you're going to be there for a while. Also apply for scholarships, um, those will help you out with any finance expenses and stuff. The next tip would be to like learn the language and the culture. I know um, in some cultures like doing the okay sign, it doesn't mean like okay, it can mean something totally different and you don't want to like offend anyone. Research the weather, how the weather's going to be like so you know what to pack and make sure to pack light. A mistake I did, I packed too much. And it was like very overwhelming because there was a lot of clothes that I wanted to buy but it wouldn't fit in my suitcase. Or I was allowed to check in two suitcases, which was stupid, but whatever. And then I had like a backpack as a carry-on or a personal. And when I got to the airport, they were like, how long are you staying here? And I was like, a month? But it looked like I was going to live there for like at least three months or something. So yeah, pack light. Jungang, they actually emailed us or a few weeks prior to d arriving there and then we could choose like an airport pickup if you wanted them to pick you up at the airport then they'll have a shuttle service provided for you um but if you want to go earlier you can do that and then you just have to get to the university yourself but yeah they had like signs and directions like where to go and finding them was like no problem we saw exo at the airport oh my god like what were the chances of seeing like celebrities at the airport at the same time you're there like oh my god it took about an hour to get from incheon to seoul we got settled in the dorms there was like a girl's dorm and then there's the guy's dorm it's all in like one big building. Um, we got a pillow with a bed sheet and a blanket. The second floor was like a common area where you can like study. They had like tables for studying and then computers and then on another on the other side they had like a big TV with a few couches so like you can all watch a movie or like watch TV or something like we watched Show Me the Money when because it was like airing at that time. Yeah. And then there's also laundry services there. It was like a dollar for washing and a dollar for drying so it was pretty cheap for the dorms itself you have one roommate and we share a bathroom and like closets and then you get like a full body size mirror which is nice and then you get like a big desk and then like a twin bed two twin beds like on opposite sides of the room then like the first day we had orientation and then we were separated into groups we had like four groups with like two team leaders each and the team leaders were called GLAM short for global ambassadors they're really nice like they'll help you out with anything we also had a group project which was fun you make a video about, with your group about anything related to Korean culture and society since that's what the program was about my group did um, 10 do's and don'ts uh, I know what is it? other groups did like a drama parody or like a show parody and then another, another group did like weird foods to eat in Korea and stuff and yeah it was pretty fun it wasn't like actual homework you have to take an elective and then you get like five special lectures that you take with like everyone so the elective I chose was Korean language it was, I think it was like intermediate the homework was like it was consistent it was very easy and stuff you had to like I know we had weekend homework which was like we draw a picture and then we like write about it in Korean it was like a di a weekend diary. And we actually watch K-pop videos in class um, to like learn learn any like words or like if it related to the topic that our teacher was gonna 
talk about or teach us yeah that was really fun we had a final we didn't have any tests it was just like class activities and stuff but we had an oral final but as for the cultural activities we did it was like a lot so i'll just list some highlights one of the highlights was going to seoul the end seoul tower and it was like uh, hmm it was where you who came from the stars was filmed there was like a special area that said oh this drama was filmed at this location and stuff it was really nice we rode the elevator and it, oh it was also where exo went when their exo showtime episode yeah it, it was really cool because like on all the glasses that when you reach the top and the observatory in the glasses like as you walk around there'll be different countries and like cities and like the elevation oh and then they took us to a baseball game it was like my first baseball game like ever i never i never even been to one here but it was so fun it was like what is it? lg twins versus dusan bears and we were on the dusan bear side and we had the little clap blow up thingies and then we just do this and then they had like specific chance for each player i almost said member each player that bats and it was so like like how is it enthusiastic and like very fun and like very wow we also went on a one night two day field trip to kangwondo and there we went to a mountain it's called soraksan and we like hiked there it wasn't that hot when we reached the top it was like kind of like foggy and cloudy and stuff so we couldn't really see the view, but you could still kind of see it. It was it was kind of scary, but it was nice. Um, another place we went to was Naksan Temple, I think. It was like near the beach. At the resort, we played games. Um, we were separated into teams, and we did like it was kind of like an empty. Um, we played games. We had fun. Another thing was a K-pop dance class. That was like, oh my god, it was kind of aerobics, aerobics, kind of like aerobics ish. Um, the dance instructor, she taught us actual like choreography, but like in an easier format. But I was kind of like, man, I wanted to learn like the real one, but it was okay. But like, we all still had a lot of fun and stuff. Uh, then we had like optional activities. One was Caribbean Bay or Everland. Um, I chose to go to Caribbean Bay because you know, like 2 p.m. and SNSD were there. And that's how I found out about them, like through that little music video commercial, Caribbean Bay. I didn't know you're required to like wear a hat. I I asked them why you had to wear a hat, but I forgot. We also did like the wave pool, and for that you had to have a life vest on, I think to prevent like any drowning or anything. Oh my god, the wave pool was so much fun, even though it was like hella crowded and it looked like human soup, but... Another activity that we did was the Boryong Mud Festival. This only happens probably like in July in like a certain week or for a certain time and we're so glad that we actually got to go there. There was like hella foreigners though. We were like, oh my god, we're not the only foreigners. Yeah, they had in this specific area, you could like go to different obstacles and like play with the mud and it's like good for your face and we had like mud on our faces and then there was this other big blow up this other big blow up thing where it's just filled with like regular water to like wash off the mud and then we went to the beach and the beach um there was like a stage and like people performing but i don't think there were any popular celebrities it was just some people performing but we got to go in there and they were like spraying water and then we got to record ourselves we took some pictures yeah it was really fun i say that about everything in addition to that like every week we would go to like KBBQ, which was like Samgyeopsal and like lettuce and kimchi and like all that good stuff. And we would eat that. And during, while we were eating, we would order like a bunch of soju just to get us like tipsy and drunk to go to karaoke, which we did like, we literally went there like every Friday. I miss it. But yeah, that was my experience in Seoul um, for the program anyway. They actually have a video of a summer video if you want to check that out i'll link it right here and i'll link it in the description box too um they'll have more information about everything i just said or they'll have like a little recap of what I'll, everything i just said in that video so if you want to check it out here you go if you want a part two which is would be me talking about like my experience in Korea outside from the program and like my K-pop interactions and like K 
K-pop companies and stuff, then please give this video a thumbs up and or a comment down below. And we'll see you in our next video, which we are semi-hiatus, by the way, since we're really busy with school. And I have a job now. And yeah. So, thanks. Bye.